It's all about networking and linking up arm in arm and seeing what we can do to help change this world. If all of us work together and support each other, women would win around the world. And what I had to learn is that empowering women cannot come from a place of selfishness. You can't be selfish when you're doing hard work. You can't be selfish when you're trying to inspire and uplift and motivate. It has to come from a place of selflessness. This is She's About Business, and I am Daithya Garns, the Impact Coach. The following experience is not for entertainment purposes. The conversations expressed on the show are meant to be expressions of purpose, faith, truth, and inspiration. This show, properly entitled She's About Business, is meant to be a testament of the ability to pursue lives of purpose, excellence, and determination, being virtuous, honest, and about business in every way. You are encouraged to respectfully and lovingly share your thoughts and give feedback on the show. But most importantly, you are encouraged to be impacted, to live your very best life with love and in faith. My hope is to impact the world one show at a time. Now, without further ado, This is She's About Business, and I am Daithya Garns, the Impact Coach. My guest today can be called by many titles. Rita C. Ricks is a life coach, inspirational speaker, workshop facilitator, award-winning entrepreneur, author, former teacher, show host, mother, breast cancer survivor, and a woman of God. Rita refuses to allow anything to stop her and not even age could keep her from continually seeking purpose. Her wisdom, energy, sense of humor, caring insight, and ageless beauty make her stand out effortlessly in a sea of people purposely trying to stand out. Formerly working in both the fashion industry and the personal development and training industry, Rita inspires others to listen to their spirit and heal the hurts and fears that often lead to a purpose not fulfilled. So in this way, they can create amazing lives for themselves and for those around them. And Rita understands that. I know all too well about the powerful impact that this woman is capable of because when I was just getting started as a life coach, I was not the woman that I am today and I was instead a woman full of fear and afraid of doing it afraid. Rita gave me an audience, she gave me encouragement, she gave me counsel, she gave me coaching, and she gave me friendship. And on top of all of that, she did it for free and from the heart. She truly wanted to see me succeed. And that is why I'm honored to have her on the show today. There's truly no one else like her. Listen in to see why and help me welcome Rita C. Ricks. So I am here with the amazing, beautiful, ageless Rita Ricks. She is a mentor to me a friend and I just adore her and I'm so thankful to have you on the show. I am so grateful to be here. Thank you for inviting me. You you are welcome and thank you so much for accepting. So they already know a little bit about you. Mm-hmm. I, already, I already shared your bio, but I wanted to get a little bit deeper. Let's go, let's do it. All right. So I want you to kind of tell us a little bit about what you say in your own words is the purpose for what you do. Mm-hmm. What's the core of it? You know, why do you do what you do and who do you serve? Okay. So I love, I work with my, with my clients. I work with everybody on their vision and their mission. And so what you're asking me is what is my mission, but I'm going to tell you what my vision is. My vision is to be the most sought after spiritual business coach on the planet. Mm. That's where I am. That's my aim. My mission is to show women and some really smart men, yes. how to remove the barriers, mm-hmm. preventing them from creating the life they were born to live. That's it. We all have shadows. 
We all have barriers. There's yeah. something, even I, and I just, I, I had a coach last year, a spiritual coach, and she, we, we, you know, we unpacked it. Yeah. And I'd had it forever for 60 plus years. And so I just want, I give people permission to, to look inside mm -hmm. and to simply decide I can get past this. Right. It's not, it, it, can't, it can't hold me back yeah. anymore. And this is what I want to do. That's awesome. And I think um, a few years ago, God gave me a term breaking barriers. Like right. That. And I think people don't always realize how many barriers are in yes. place. Yes. In yes. So yes. Yes. That's why I love what you do. And and I had a, a woman to come in the other day and she was thinking about being coached mm -hmm. and there was a wall yeah. and she was just smiling and had the cutest smile, but there was a wall. And when I told her, mm -hmm. she started crying and yeah. she decided she wasn't ready to be coached. Uh -huh. So I understand that it is huge yeah. to have to face some of the things that we are going through. And most of the time, we don't even know it. And so we built it up to be bigger and worse right. than it really is. Yeah. And so with a coach, mm -hmm. we're able to, again, unpack. And I just kind of open and ask the questions. And the freedom yeah. that comes from finally unleashing is just, it's miracle time. That's why I love coaching. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's transformative, you know. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. So question two. Is, okay. It's been said that over 90% of people have some kind of entrepreneurial dream or idea, but only about 14% take the leap and take a chance. How did you become who you are today as an entrepreneur? How did you get this far? And were you always confident that you would succeed? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But here's the deal. I am a sociology major with a master's in adult education. Business was nowhere in my purview. Right. But I followed my heart. Yeah. And so I've been in business now over 30 years because I followed my heart. And yes, there, there have always been difficult times, but I just, two things. I always felt the time and energy it would take me to make money for somebody else, I could be doing it for me. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, I'm never going to get fired because, you know, it's always going to be me. Right. And so those, those two pieces right there have just continued to just lead me forward. You know, and let me not, let me, let me just add this, that God and I are co-creators of my life. Yes. He tells me what to do and I do it. So the older I've gotten, the more I, I, I learn about him, the easier it has gotten yeah. because I've been on the path for a long time, not realizing that I was on the path. But I say to anybody, do not try to fit your resume into what somebody else is looking for because it's never going to be exactly like you want. So talk about, feel, write down what it is you want and then figure out who wants you. Ooh, or like you go that. out on your own. I like Yeah. That. Or you, go out on or you own. just go out on your own. And then too, it's like for me, when I was in corporate America, I always knew it was like a like I'm just not going to be happy, right? Unless right. I do it, right? But I think, especially for those women out there and those men too who are single parents, yes, or who are parents or, or mm -hmm. who are married who have mm -hmm. any type of responsibility, it's hard to get over. I felt guilty for warning this because the other way was more secure, right? Right. So it's like I have children. You're being selfish. Yeah. Like, how could you think about yeah, leaving no. this job? No, no, but yeah, no, it's like no. I had to. Yes, and, and things yes. kept lining up. Yes, and not lining up perfectly or in a good way. Like God had to do some tough things to push me out there. Right. But I think that some people receive it and they take the leap, and some people will just stay. And and, stay and, and that's what happened to me. Because I taught for 15 years mm -hmm. and I should have probably probably left after 10. Right. But after 15, it was like, get out yeah. or just, you know, leap off a bridge. Right. And so <laughs> yeah, I and I kept and I kept, and that's like Harriet. Mm -hmm. Harriet said freedom yeah, yeah. or die. Harriet Tubman, right. you know. And so for me, it was I had two kids and I was divorced. And my kids wanted to tell everybody my kids wanted to eat every day, right. sometimes three times a day. And I'm like, what? 
What? You guys want to eat every day? I mean, I can't afford it every day. Yeah. But when you are on that path, God's got, God has got you. He's got you. And so the more, you know, and, and my pastor says all the time, do you ever pay attention to God's track record in your life? Do you just look back and see what he's done? If you really start to look, you see how he's brought you from so far. And, you know, my granddaughter now is an entrepreneur and it just is amazing how, how, how I've come to where I've come and I've not been scared for years. Yeah, no. You know, when I first met you, I remember you telling me that. You know, mm-hmm. I was telling you, like, this is what, what mm-hmm. I was just saying. Mm-hmm. I was still in corporate mm-hmm. America. Mm-hmm. I was just starting to transition mm-hmm. into coaching. And I was I was afraid. Mm-hmm. And you were, like, so comfortable in your position and just comfortable as an entrepreneur. And I didn't get it at first. Yeah. Now I see that it's it's actually more of a faith wall. Absolutely. Not really even about being an entrepreneur. It's about having faith. And this is your path. Right. It's this is my path. And so people are saying all the time, I want pur- I want to find my purpose. Mm-hmm. This is my purpose. Right. And to be where I am now at 72 wow. and and able to connect and integrate personal and professional. Yeah. Amen. It works. And you look amazing. It works. Probably. Thank you. you <laughs> but yes, and oh, this is gonna bless so many people and let let us just put this out there we're not saying that entrepreneurship is for everybody exactly i i agree whatever your call is right find it right but here's the deal too everybody is ceo of their own life exactly that's beautiful everybody is ceo of his or her own life and so you are creating your reality whether you're loving it or not so you simply have to put out there what you want to do rather than saying, well, I'd, go, I'd do this, but I don't want. The universe is going to send you what you say. Mm-hmm. And so you just decide on what it is you want. Right. And even if that's working for somebody else, just to make that decision. Exactly. Be excellent. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And enjoy it. Yeah. That's the passion. That's the purpose. That's the joy okay. of enjoying it. Yeah, because let me tell you, worry is a form of atheism. Mm. Listen, we're going to have to do a part two because that right there. Worry is a a form of atheism. Separate Mm -hmm. discussion. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're Mm -hmm. going to do a part two and talk about that alone. You got it. You got it. Because, you know, honestly, and then I'll move on to the next question, I promise. But there's no way you could have made it to 72 looking like you look and still doing what you do if you were work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How many years have you been coaching, by the way? Well, probably all of my life. Right. Because I think that's what <laughs> yeah, I Yeah, probably, yeah. probably yeah. all of my life. Early. Yeah. But I was, a, <laughs> like I said, a sociology major and uh, I was a, a trainer. I, I was a teacher right. of middle school for 15 years. Wow. And then I was a trainer with my first company, which was Mirror Enterprise. Mm-hmm. But it was when in 2005 when I said, I want to go deeper. Yeah. I don't want to just train across the board. I want to go deeper. I want to know more. I, there's more down there that we aren't sharing. Yeah. And so I had to work on me and and the more I saw in me the more I was able to connect with God and 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 literally he just speaks through me at first it was like I would say wow that was a good answer and now it's just we connect right we connect and it is yes and when you connect with him you connect with his people that's right that's right that's right and And that's what coaching is to me is about about, because I was just telling somebody that um I've realized in my life a lot of the biggest pains and hurts that I've had have come from other people Mm -hmm. because I love so deep and I want to connect Mm -hmm. them all of my relationships Mm -hmm. so it's like some days I wake up like Lord why did you call me to do this because some days I don't even like your people (laughs) right I don't even like people I've said but that too. I love them. Yes. Love yes. Me yes. So you have to yes. do this based on your love for That's people. That's right. That's right? right. Or your care for people. That's you right. You love them, but some days just, right. you know, people are, can be so hurtful. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we have to have that connection mm-hmm. with him in mm-hmm. order to do it. And then he allows us to see that they're hurting. Right. And to see the good. Yes. And yeah. I remember yeah. in my early 20s, I didn't even know about coaching. Mm-hmm. And this lady who was a mentor to me at that time that I used to work with, she told me, she said, 
one thing that I love about you is that you see the good in mm. everybody, she said. But if you don't channel it right, mm-hmm. it can hurt you. Mm-hmm. And I didn't get it. Like, mm-hmm. But now I'm seeing what she's saying. That's that's a gift that I think great coaches have. I agree. They're able to I agree. Good people, and then we can help I agree. Them pull it out. But you know what? We have to see it in ourselves exactly. first. We ha- To me, a great coach is one who can is coaching his himself or herself right. every day. Yeah. So I'm always checking every me. Day. I get up every morning and I journal and I get up every morning and I'm silent yeah. so that I can be in tune and alignment with God's directions right. for me for today. Absolutely. And and people think you just showed up on the scene. Yeah, no. It's been work. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I oh, told, yeah. Told it's every friend. day. Yeah, it's every day. And they're not there when you're crying yeah. out to God when you're That's on right. your space. That's when right. I lost all the That's money right. when I invested, That's when I tried right. this and then work. Or I did this blog and it failed. You don't just show up. Like you, you have to work at this, and you have to work at yourself. And the more you know you, the more you're in tune with him. He's sending blessings every yeah. day. You, the more, and I, I, uh, I talk about silence because it's critical mm-hmm. to be silent, to be quiet. Because people say, "Well, I pray." I said, "Well, are you listening? Exactly. What, what, you know, what you telling him for? So he created you." And so to so to listen to him is just and and I've got two people that that are two young wonderful young ladies who are working with me and I say when you get texts at four thirty and five o'clock that's coming out of my silence right. you know you don't have to act on it right now but it's coming out of the yeah. silence I'm sending it to you because he's just pouring pouring into me he's pouring and into me to have someone that I adore that both of them committed, yeah you know? yeah right, yeah so let me. Okay. Go to the next question, which is the fun part, because now okay. question three, I'm gonna pull it out of my little my little uh, hat. Okay. That's cute. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what we get here. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good question. Okay, they're all good. They're all good. <laughs> but we're gonna love to get this answer. Okay. You. So for the first time in history, as you've seen, mm-hmm. it's been all over social media and mm-hmm. news, but Miss America, Miss USA, yes. Miss Teen USA, and Miss Universe are all black women. It's an amazing time to be a woman of any race, really, yes, right? I agree. What is the most important thing that you believe we should be teaching young girls today? To love yourself. Mm. To be authentic yeah. and loving yourself. Yeah. You know, and that is something that all of us have to do because I can look in the mirror in a heartbeat and go, ah, that's not working. But if we work on it and that's what I send to my, I have two granddaughters and I just send to them, love yourself, know that God has got you, pay attention to what it is that you want. That's That's fascinating though. I love that. I didn't, I didn't realize all of those women. Yes, but I but I agree with you. This is this is our window. I think not. On, you're right. Women in general, but I think us in particular, because we are so. The strength that I saw in Harriet Tubman, the strength that that woman had, is in each of us, and so we don't have time to be crazy. Because there's so much to be done. And look what she did. She said, I will be free or I will die. And that's what life is about. Yeah. And don't you think sometimes the stigma, I I guess this is another question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The stigma of the angry black woman is is utilized to make us hush. Yeah. But let me tell you, I can be angry. I can be anything I want. I can be. I I understand. But I'm simply saying I'm not apologizing to anybody and I'm not explaining to everybody, you take it or leave it. And that's what we have to do. Be ourselves, you know? There's a lot of reasons to be angry, but I, I like you said, I think that that strength yeah, is there. Exactly. You can utilize that to do some amazing And things. that's what I think most people that are not black women right. fear. Right. Black men, you know, yeah. white men, white women, they fear it because they see the strength. Because you know, uh, it is, it is, it's so incredible. But just right now, this is our time. Be you. Exactly. Be you. And it's not about feminism. Oh, no. Because I don't like right. that term. I'm right. not a part of that movement. Right. But it's just about, I feel like, all of us coming to, coming together. Black women, white women. Right. And, and I agree. Getting out there. I agree. And making this world better. And, and that's where being in alignment with what God wants. Yeah. Being in alignment. Amen. Yeah, we're there. Ooh, I love it. All right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's see. The next one out of the hat. You're going to shake it up? I'm going to shake it up. Okay. 
There you go. All right, look. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We have. Ooh. Oh, another good question, huh? <laughs> yeah, this one is a, it's a tough one. Okay. But it's it's good. Okay. So, has pursuing your business goals negatively or positively affected your relationship? marriage or dating life because a lot of I get that from a lot of women that I work with yeah. and what advice do you have for women on effectively balancing the two so I am not in a relationship okay. and have not been for a while mm-hmm. um and it's so interesting you asked that question because <laughs> I was talking about it this morning mm-hmm. um it's important for us when we want something, we have to, we have to ask for it. Right. We want it, and so we have to ask for it. Mm-hmm. But we also have to feel it in here. Right. And what I've realized is that, and, ooh, and this is serious opening up. <laughs> I have wanted, I have said I wanted a companion, mm-hmm. but deep down, I really don't know that I do because of everything that I'm doing. But again, I'm older. And so I've been there, done that, and had great relationships and great guys and all kind, great everything. Yeah. It feels to me now that there is this urgency to stay focused on my purpose, and it, there doesn't feel like there's any room. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't feel like this when I was younger. And so, again, at 72, I can say that. But I do feel, I do see women who do balance. Right. I see women who balance. Alice Freeman balances, you know, and so she's just one, she's just one example. And I think that if there were somebody in my life, I would be really great, a great companion. Mm -hmm. Um, But I, I, that's not what I'm looking at today. (laughs) Tomorrow may be a different day, Uh, but I love men and I love, but I love men. (laughs) However, don't want the drama. Don't have time for the drama. Not going to deal with the drama. So this guy's going to be, and I pray for him Mm -hmm. every day because I want him to be healthy and I want him to be exciting and and wonderful. And we'll see, we'll see, but I'm not lonely. Right. And that, that's a... I'm not lonely. It's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I had periods where I was, mm-hmm. and now I'm not. And mm-hmm. it feels totally different. But I think what you said about, like, even in those times of, you know, when we're single, mm-hmm. maybe we're feeling like we don't really want to take our focus off of what mm-hmm. we're doing, mm-hmm. praying for... Oh, oh yes. ...partner that make that spouse. Absolutely. Is Absolutely. Essential Absolutely. To be Absolutely. Open. To be to be open right. to whatever he looks like. You know, that's important. That if when I'm in a when I'm in a relationship, mm-hmm. I'm single right now mm-hmm. too. But I'm so focused on it because I'm I'm, I'm such a loyal, committed person mm-hmm. that I wouldn't be doing what I'm is doing. my point. Exactly. So, and I is that, my point. <laughs> a lot of times too. Some of the men that I've dated in the past, they were a little intimidated by my drive. Yeah. So it's like, how do yeah. you get around that? I think it has to be the right person. I don't think you That's try to get friend. around it. For me, it's me being authentic right. and being and just being me. And I understand, I, you know, I can be a lot. Mm-hmm. I can be a lot. But I do love being a lot, you know. And I, I just, I wanted to go to Italy and so I went in, um, I went in September mm-hmm. and people said, what are you going to do while you're there? I just wanted to be in the space. And there were days when I would go on an excursion by myself just to, cause it was That's what amazing. I wanted was to be in these different cities. So and wow. so it is important for us not to wait for, to go ahead and do, he might be yeah. over there. Maybe over there. Yeah. Stop I keep going back is. to look for him, but <laughs> but the point is, I like, just had, they, they do, and I had an amazing time, and so every day is about being, every day to me is about being excited and right. experiencing something, having a glass of wine, mm-hmm. I mean, that's who I, it's just, that's it's being excited, right. yeah. Just living and not waiting. Yep, yep, yep. I, I personally yep. say, you know, I don't want to buy a house until I get married. I don't want to go here until I get married. Oh, okay. 
you know, and so mm-hmm. what, you, what are you going to do? If that yeah. And, and, and the point is it probably won't because somebody else, the one, the guy you want is looking for you to have right. those things because you're looking for him mm-hmm. to have it. That's a good You point. know? So I think what you're saying is just live. Just, just be, just be. We're human beings. Right. Just be. And pray for the person that. Yes. 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 I, yes. What you're doing. Yes. So it won't be yes. A, yes. And I want, and I want him to be healthy. I'm gonna keep saying that. Man. Okay. That's important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna pull one more, one more question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. So what? Your face you was. Hmm. This is a good one. Okay. I need. I need this. Okay. One. What's been your biggest challenge in working with other women? And what do you think we can all do as women to avoid negativity in our business dealings with one another? So I hear that. I don't experience it a whole lot. I really don't. I mean, I hear it, Mm -hmm. but I don't experience. And and, And I guess it's because, you know, I just, I always feel like, God has just put this something around me so that I don't get negative men. Awesome. I don't get negative. I really don't. And and I I and I I don't attract that. Right. I don't attract that. I'm sending out mm-hmm. what I'm getting back. Yeah. And the law of attraction is huge. And so I don't really get the negative. This women's business center has just been amazing. And what I've learned and how I've grown and how we talk and how we, you know, even down to, I call this, I call my office the she cave, yeah. you know, because we can come in and just kind of, you know, and I, there's always a glass of wine. See, the glasses are right there. But I'm always looking for the best and expecting the best. Yeah. That's and that's what I get. That's, that's what I get. I don't, I don't, and I, I do have friends who like, that. you know, they'll meet a guy and then I'll go, oh, Okay. You know, I don't, I don't get that. And I just believe it's just God's keeping me on the path that he wants me on. I really yeah. do. I really do. I, I, I can see that, definitely. So basically you're saying just put out the energy that yeah, you want. That, that you want back. That. That's right. And I think That's right. because of all of the negative things that we see, like on, you know, uh, reality shows and all the negativity that we've heard about, mm-hmm. sometimes when we go into... Um, business relationships mm-hmm. with other mm-hmm. women, we do go in expecting the mm-hmm. works. Mm-hmm. I think that's yeah, the, you know, and you get what you expect. Exactly. You get it back, so and so amazing. we don't want. It's so it, what I say all the time is, you know, I ask a client, "What is it you want?" The first thing she says is, "Well, I don't want," and I'm saying, "I don't want to know that. Right. I want to know what you do want because you're still sending it out there." Yeah. You're still sending it out there. And when you say, yeah, I'd like to do that, but mm-hmm. you've canceled. Right. You've canceled what you said you wanted because now you've got all these doubts. So your language is important, how you say it, how you think it. All of that is important. I mean, it is a full-time job managing yourself. Managing your thoughts, your attitude. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And That's right. Maybe we're not aware of what we're putting out exactly. around other exactly. people. Exactly. Exactly. And I also wanted to just touch on this before we get into, you know, how people can reach out to you. Um, I've been telling for the like maybe the last two months, a lot of the people that I work with, and I, I guess God put this on my heart, but and you just touched on it. Be honest. Mm-hmm. Tell God mm-hmm. what you really mm-hmm. want. Mm-hmm. Like say mm-hmm. it and stop mm-hmm. saying what you think mm-hmm. is appropriate. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and I think yeah. people don't do that. Like you yeah. just said, yeah. you know, really identify what you want yeah. and be honest about it yeah. and actually ask them for mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's a key to anything. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. like, you know, with any situation, don't expect the words, don't think the words, but just tell God. What you want, and even when and we wake up in the morning being excited. Yeah. So I tell my clients all the time, real quickly, journal, journal. I do dear God letters every morning. Dear God letters. This is what I'm grateful for. I'm excited about today. I'm praying for the people I'm going to meet. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And then I read something really motivational. You know, Jesus calling, Dr. Cindy Tram, something. I do too. And then go into the silence. Even if it sets your alarm for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I can do an hour. And I'm telling you, you, when you settle your mind and you slow your rhythm down, he is so loud. But then if you don't write it down, you won't remember. It's so amazing to me how it's loud when I'm hearing it, 
But yeah. but then I have to stop then and write it down because mm -hmm. I it will it, it'll go out. Yeah. So it's me and God talking every morning before my day starts, and then I go to the gym. You know, I go to the gym and then I start my day and then I'll be, this is my third act. This is act three that I'm in right now. Wow. And we'll do act four as well. That's amazing. <laughs> You're such an inspiration. I love you. We have I love do doing this. Else. Absolutely. But Whatever you like. We have to wrap it up, unfortunately. So the last question for okay. you is what's next for you and your business and how can my listeners connect with you? So what's next is that I really grow my Speaking to Your Spirit program on Amazon Prime. Yes. So I would love for everybody to go there and take a look. Marcus Johnson, who is a musician, mm -hmm. and he he uh, created Flow Wine. He's already also written a book. Go see him on this yeah. interview. It's really good. Um, Daphne Reed, I've interviewed her. So mm -hmm. I'd love for people to do that. And that's my per focus in 2020 is to grow that platform mm -hmm. in other areas. Areas. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I it, so. that's what I want to do. And okay. so to contact me, they can uh, go to www.speaktoyourspirit.com. I'm also on Facebook with uh, Speaking to Your Spirit. And then uh, LinkedIn. I was just going over that. Amazon, I think uh, LinkedIn and uh, Instagram are both Rita C. Ricks. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I hope that, you know, everyone takes the opportunity to just... Just let them see you and see your 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 spirit and your energy like it's so inspiring. So I hope that they absolutely go and check those things out and connect with you. And just I hope that they're as blessed as I am. Oh, to I appreciate you. that. And to be able to just have you in my life. So now you're in their lives. Now I'm so in I'm their lives. share her with you guys, okay, <laughs> for a little while. But thank you so much for being on the show. And Love thank you, you for you asking me. me. You got to come back. I will. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you back. The She's About Business Show is directed and hosted by Daithia Garns, digital editing by Will Rice at Pro Voice Guy Studios, and copyright by She's About Business Inc. Thanks so much for listening to the She's About Business Show. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Also, if you think I'm doing a great job or you enjoy an episode, leave a review, rating, or comment. I love to hear from you. And don't forget to visit She'sAboutBusiness.com for amazing blog articles, events, and services. Love you guys. Let's be about business.